In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export this InDesign layout into an HTML file format. Maybe you already know that InDesign has an ability to export the InDesign file format into an HTML. But the result is really disappointing. Uh, I'll show you the example. So this is the layout that I convert or export from the InDesign default. And the result is really, really, really terrible. And this one is the result from the script that we are going to use in this tutorial. So let's get started. First thing first, you need to download an external script that we're going to import into InDesign. And the source is here, InDesignSecrets.com. You'll find the link to this page in the description below. And simply scroll down a bit and you'll find a link to download the script. Simply click here and you got the script. Simply copy that and then, yeah, copy, right click copy and now open Notepad application and paste here. And after that, you save that. Okay, just save in your download folder. I'm going to name it as InDesign to HTML and save as type all files and then give the file extension as gsx which is a javascript file yeah just save it okay done now you need to go to your indesign program and now go to window utilities script open user right click reveal in explorer and go to script panel now you need to move the script that you download before here I'm going to copy that script panel and then paste here now the script will be automatically loaded here as you can see here now you just simply click on this script right click and run script Unfortunately, there is no confirmation or notification that the file is being exported. But you can check in your this InDesign file. Let's check it out. So here is the HTML, the HTML version. And this is the InDesign file. And let's check it out, the result. And here it is. It works perfectly. As this is the original. I'm going to show it side by side and it's done really well exactly the same and even the hyperlink works okay so that's it for the tutorial if you have any questions simply leave comments in the box until then see you in the next tutorial